Welcome back guys to another episode of North Coast Craftsman. Today the channel is not about wood, but it's about how to finish wood. So if you guys watched last week's video, you know exactly what we are going to be doing today. I am going to be showing you guys how to make kitchen safe, food grade finish for charcuterie boards and cutting boards. So guys, just jumping right into it, there's only two things you're going to need today. Beeswax, which this beeswax here is locally sourced from honeybees in the surrounding area. And you're going to need mineral oil, preferably food grade, food safe, kitchen use mineral oil. I'm going to walk you through a couple of the very first steps that you're going to need to do in order to start this process. So step number one, you're going to want to get a bowl that can be heated and you're going to want to dedicate this bowl or this pot specifically for this purpose because once you put wax in this pot the wax isn't going to come out so you're going to want to buy a bowl preferably for probably from goodwill or something like that that you can use specifically for this purpose. This part is extremely important because guys, when your wife comes home and finds out that you just ruined her $50 Rachel Ray pot, she's not gonna be very happy with you guys. So buy something cheap. This bowl here was a Christmas gift I got, $1.99 from Goodwill. I use it every time I make this, very simple. The next thing you're gonna need is a container with a lid so that you can put your finish in something and can be sealed when we're all said and done. So the recipe we're gonna be using today is a four to one mixture of one part beeswax, four parts mineral oil. So what I have right here is three quarters of a cup of beeswax. I will be adding three cups of mineral oil into the bowl we will be heating on a double boiler system. When the beeswax has been melted, that's when you add in your mineral oil, mix it all together. We have this little wooden stir stick that we're gonna use to mix everything together. I found this outside. Don't need to use anything fancy for this recipe. It's very simple. With all that being said, let's get started. What we have here is a double boiler system. This helps so that we don't burn our wax. So what we're going to be doing is melting the wax in this pot. And when the wax is melted, I know that we have three quarters of a cup of wax. So at that point, I'm gonna add in the three cups of mineral oil. We have waited a couple of days since cooking our finish and here is what we have when it's all cooled and ready to be used. So as you can see, it kind of has the consistency of like a pudding or a custard as well as kind of the same looks, but this is definitely something that we don't want to eat folks. So we did not have to wait a full couple of days. Essentially all you have to do is wait until the whole thing cools down and is it, it gets to around room temperature. Once it gets to room temperature, your finish is ready to use. So going back into it, if your finish is a little bit runnier than this, add more beeswax. If your finish isn't as runny as this, add more oil. It's, quick, it's pretty simple to correct an issue that you have but essentially it should kind of flow a little bit, like I said, like pudding or like custard, something like that. 
So now let's get started putting this on our uh, charcuterie boards and we will get to see what this stuff looks like on some wood. Now that we have our finish ready and looking somewhat like this, we're gonna take our charcuterie board and I like to use a baking sheet because that seems to be about the right width and the length that these charcuterie boards and cutting boards usually come to. You can use anything from just paper towel to whatever you got around your house. Doesn't really matter. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a rubber glove and we're just gonna dip and mix some of this uh, finish up a little bit. And we're just gonna take this in our hand and we're just gonna rub it all over the board. As we do this, we can really start to see what this board is gonna look like when it's all finished. As you can see, this is cherry, so it gets quite a bit darker than what it was before. But we're basically just gonna take our hands and we're just gonna keep rubbing the board until it's fully covered in our finish. It has now been 24 hours since we applied our finish. At this point, what you should see is you should have sort of a waxy film on top <clears throat> of your boards. So how this finish works is the mineral oil soaks into the wood and the wax stays on top of the wood and acts as a protectant. So now the next step is going to be to take some paper towel and just take your boards and start buffing that wax. So essentially you kind of want to take off all the extra wax that's on these boards and the rest you just kind of want to buff into the wood. What this is going to do is create a finish on top of the boards. You can use a microfiber towel, you can use just a regular cotton towel, whatever you want to use. I found that paper towel works pretty well. Paper towel really soaks up the extra wax that's on the board. And so then we're just going to keep working the wax out of the board. And we're just going to keep on going like this. Okay guys, now that I've given you all my trade secrets, we're gonna kind of recap what we did today. For starters, I'm gonna discuss a little bit about what we used today, as well as the portions that we used. So we started with three quarters of a cup of beeswax and three cups of mineral oil. That doesn't have to be what you guys use, it's all dependent on how much you want and how much you can boil at one time. So. The ratio that you're looking for is four to one. Four parts oil, one part beeswax. After that, you're gonna let it cool for probably three to six hours, depending on how warm your mixture got. After that, you're gonna find some wood that you wanna try your finish on. So, this is what we tried it on. These two charcuterie boards right here and if I do say so myself they turned out fantastic I absolutely love these I love this finish not only does it go good with charcuterie boards and cutting boards but you can also use it around the shop anything that is metal surface so say your cast iron surfaces you can use this on those you can use it on your table saw sleds to make them glide nicer 
whatever you want to use this on it has many many different applications so guys with that being said unfortunately we have now come to the end of today's video if you like today's video i hope that you subscribe like leave a comment so that i know how to change anything that you would like to see differently i really would love to hear from you guys we also have a facebook and an instagram page so if you guys haven't checked out those pages go check those out we have a lot of different content that we put out on those besides just how to videos so there you'll be able to see all sorts of different projects that we've worked on as with all that being said i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you stay tuned for next week's video I'm not going to give it away what next week's video is, but I have a feeling you guys are really going to enjoy next week's video as well. So with that being said, thank you all. See you next week.